dying sailors and <laughs> prostitutes getting stabbed. Right. Uh, Hello, heroes, and welcome once again to the Dungeon Dome. I am James D'Amato, your Game Master, and today we're not actually doing the Dungeon Dome. We are playing the Dungeon Dome card game, which is up on Kickstarter right now. It's a battling card game that takes your favorite characters from the Dungeon Dome, allows you to create your own personal tag teams, and fight out exciting battles. Uh, and with me, I've got some cool people to help show it off. First up, we got Darcy Ross. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, the, I have been loving the art when I, from what I've seen of this and like some of the phrases, so I can't wait to actually get to use them. Uh, yes, the, the <laughs> art is fantastic. It's done by Will Kirkby. Uh, you can see it up on the Kickstarter page. Uh, it, I think it is one of the coolest things about the game. Uh, Darcy, I mm. wanted to know, like, since we're playing a card game, are you a card game person? I I am notoriously inexperienced <laughs> <laughs> with card games. Uh, my girlfriend is very good at them and very intense about them. Uh, and I'm more like a laid back. I, I look at the cards. I like tact I like playing with like tactile things and mm -hmm. actually like you know getting to play with the sooth deck. I, I think I've been getting more into like. I don't know, the, the tactile experience of cards. Of pulling so, cards and yeah. holding oh, cards. Yeah, and being excited about what I might draw next. So I'm, I completely yeah. understand that because I played uh, the Dark, Wilhelm March's Dark role playing game yeah. and uh, Phoenix Dawn Command. And oh, both of those so use beautiful. deck. You're, you don't yeah. have a character sheet, you have a deck. And like the fact that your character is an object always felt very evocative yeah. to me. So like I get it. I get it. <laughs> well, what, one of the things that I designed about this game is to make it sort of easy to learn um, mm. with strategy that like gets more in depth as you understand the game more. So this, this hopefully uh, will work out for you. Yep. Which allows, it brings us over to Tyler Samples. Tyler. Hi everybody. Hi welcome. James. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for coming here. Absolutely. I'm also stoked to be here and I'm just very excited to get to hold small Benjamin in my hand uh, at some oh point. yes because uh, he's very cuddleable mm -hmm. and like you want to hold them in your hands uh, <laughs> I would feel remiss if I didn't point out I mean Darcy Ross probably that name speaks for itself uh, as, as she is uh, involved with money cook games um, and she did a woman with hollow eyes over here on this very stream uh, Tyler, though, uh, you might not recognize his face, but do recognize his voice because he does the TLDM podcast. So good. I do, yeah, with Alan Linick, uh, also from Hollow, A Woman with the Hollow Eyes. Yeah, uh, at this point, not weekly, but when we get around to it, yeah. we put out a thing about D&D uh, &D 5e and then everything else. James has been on, uh, and we love talking to y'all. Yeah, I, and I, there's almost no one better for for D and D than than Tyler and Alan, which is why I'm excited uh, that both Tyler and Alan um, are going to be here on Saturday mm -hmm. for our newest Dungeon Dome stream. This is the first stream that we did since uh, the finale of season one, and it's going to be our characters uh, from our Tomb of Annihilation run fighting a Serac. Mm -hmm. uh, and Tyler is going to be our, our dungeon master for that. Yes, I am. I am very excited to wreck all of you. <laughs> he had some buck wild ideas mm -hmm. that I cannot wait to see <laughs> uh, actually come to fruition. So the question that I have for you, Tyler, yes. is are you a card game person? Do you feel um, like a card game person? I, I never played, I played Magic once when I was in high school, and then I never went back to it because everybody else was too intense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's sort of similar to Darcy. And then, I wanted to like look at the, car, the art and the quotes, and people were like, play the card. Play the and game. I was like, but this magical world, <laughs> I know. why are we skipping it? Um, <laughs> since then, like, I've played uh, card games, and I do like pretty regularly when I'm around friends who play cards and card games, uh, but I am not... The, I don't have a killer instinct in games, so I love playing card games in any game, but I will almost always lose because <laughs> I'll be because I'll be like, oh, this seems fun, cool, and like doing strategy doesn't feel. I'm like that feels like cheating. I don't. Want, <laughs> I want to be spontaneous and in the moment. But that's inconsistent with my narrative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. No meta gaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's come this on, competitive card uh, game. What I've liked about what I've seen here that I'm really excited to see is like. 
uh, the, 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 the quantity of values that I need to keep track of yeah. seem uh, more manageable than in some systems. But like you said, if, if there are layers of depth, then I can, I can play at that basic level and, and yeah. you know, be playing 4D chess later on. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I love it. You get to like dip into it when you want and then pull back out and be like, I'm going to do this cool move. Yes. But then be like, ooh, I'm scheming. <laughs> Well, with this, I'm, I'm ready to get the scheming going. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're going to talk through who we have here on the table. Uh, the first question that I have, and there's no wrong answer to okay. this question, is did either of you watch the Dungeon Dome? Do you know the characters of the Dungeon Dome? I did because I've been prepping for our game. Ooh. So I was going back through to look at all of the maps. So I have a sense of what of who, uh, who traps and okay. things I need to be doing. I don't have a deep knowledge of them. I have seen some episodes, and I've eagerly I loved like watching the the performers <laughs> duke it out over Twitter. Also, <laughs> so I feel like I've watched a lot of like the dissing that yes. happened over social media, and have deep attachments to all of that. Some of those nice promos people are cutting. So good. All right, yeah. so then I, I will talk about in terms of character. Over here we have Claudish. Uh, Claudish uh, was part of the nothing. He was the lizard man. Uh, we also have Benjin, Claudish's partner, uh, uh, who was like the devil man. Okay. Um, <laughs> then over here we, we have their bitter rivals, the ladies disdain, um, uh, with Aero Galatea up here. She was the dragonborn. And Balon Terratrix down here. She was the barbarian. Uh, then we've got uh, everybody's favorite heels, Team Roxlet, uh, mm. with Gary Teledrin up here and Jesse Teledrin down here. Then finally, we've got uh, the crowd favorite, the Compass Cats, uh, with Small Benjamin up here and Percival the Unwavering over here. Um, since y'all are not super card game people, I don't feel like I need to put it in terms of what the decks actually do, mm -hmm. and we can sort of uh, learn that in the air. Um, so I am gonna let y'all draft characters, and I think okay. I think uh, Darcy has the most experience on this stream. So I think we're gonna let Tyler go first oh. on this. Oh my! Tyler, Thank who you. Are you gonna pick as your first character? I said Small Benjamin, so I feel like yeah. I have to follow up on Small Benjamin. All right, you to Small hold Benjamin. Him in hand. Exactly. Yeah. There awesome. he is. Uh, Darcy, how about you? Give me that dragon board. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Ever since I was a kid, man. Uh, you gotta love it. Gotta and love it. the way the Dungeon Dome card game works is you create your own tag team. So Ooh. you each get a second character to combine with a first. Oh, wow. And I've made it so that pretty much every combination is good and viable. Uh, there's only one combination that's kind of difficult to play, and neither of you uh, picked half of that, so you're oh, good. Oh, great. Um, who's Claudish's partner again? Uh, Claudish's partner would be Benjamin Direwick. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna do small Benjamin and Benjamin. Benjamin. Oh yeah, yeah, for maximum name confusion. Yes. I like it. Gary. Gary. Nice. Oh man. <laughs> nice. Darcy's deck uh, really intrigues <laughs> I, me, actually, um, God, because she's picked uh, two characters who I don't have any of my D20s here. Uh oh. Guess you have to um, use that big one. <laughs> 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 yeah, to, to track to track some life. Um, I don't have the d20s, so I might actually have to get up and look for them really quick. Uh, we can hold it down. Yeah, why don't you guys just vamp? Okay. Okay. How are y'all doing? How are you, Darcy? Talk to me about magic. Yeah. And our both. Yeah. <laughs> our, our interest and inexperience with so, it. So, Darcy, what's your favorite of the magic like mana groups? Oh, I like swamps. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. Pretty into swamps. Yeah. Uh, I liked I liked the death one, but <laughs> I didn't really have like a thing. Mine was always I was like these monsters are so neat. Uh, yeah. You know, um, I have because of D and D, mm -hmm. uh, they've been doing like crossovers, mm -hmm. uh, and it has made me. I every time I'm always like, I want to play Magic: The Gathering, but I want to play the stories. Right. Uh, it's a really well done storytelling in just one card. I agree. And like so evocative, right? Like you, yeah. I, I was always like, what? You know, I wanted to know more about what was happening behind the scenes. Look at this sweet art. 
It is completely buck wild, I want to say, that it took Wizards this long I to know. start putting Magic the Gathering in a Dungeons and Dragons format. Yep. Yeah. Uh, don't under literally don't understand uh, what the thought process is. Oh, there. swamps are the death ones. Yep, swamps oh, are the death well, ones. So you both have the right choices. Oh wow, that worked out really <laughs> thank well. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I hope that because is Wizard Wizards is part of Hasbro also, right? Yeah, Wizards is Hasbro. I think um, they should start doing Monopoly D and D. <laughs> that does sound like a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just making bold statements. OSR wow. Monopoly yeah. D&D. Oh, yeah. 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 It's all randomized all the time. Yep. I love it. Um, so uh, now I got to, you, you guys have to shuffle together those characters. Okay. Wonderful. Um, My weakness. And <laughs> I can determine your hit Ooh, points. Um, don't watch me. With... Arrow in your deck, Darcy, you are going to be starting off at okay. 25 hit points. And Tyler, because you have small Benjamin in your deck, mm -hmm. you are going to be starting off at 25 hit points. Wonderful. So this is a high hit point game. Okay, great. Watch us squander it. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Um, also, because the game is starting, I will reveal the first event. And oh my, it's a, a real game changer to have this one on the table so early. The Scales of Power. Okay. Um, the Scales of Power is a legendary item. Um, if a player has less than 10 hit points, they can claim the Scales of Power. Uh, when you possess the Scales of Power, you can discard it to change your opponent's hit points to match your own. Ooh. It is wild. That's uh, so very you, fun and malicious. Yeah, you want to be very careful of uh, specifically when you get down to 10 hit points. Okay. Um, yeah. And when two, when both people are in the ten hit point range, either person can claim it. So it is uh, at any point or on their turn. Um, at, is it an interrupt? It says a player with less than ten hit points can claim this item. So right now it's an interrupt. Wow. Um, <laughs> rules as written, and this sort of helps me as an extended play test to see how well this works. Um, <laughs> cool. So if y'all have them shuffled together, yep. I need each of you to draw. Five cards. On it. Okay. We can look at them, right? Yes, so you cool. absolutely can. Great. So, the different types of cards that we have in the Dungeon Dome card game, the first is attack. Uh, mm -hmm. It's fairly straightforward. Attacks have damage on them, and they help you deal damage to your opponent. Damage reduces your opponent's hit points, and reducing your opponent's hit points to zero is how you win the game. Um, the next is a little bit more complicated. That's move. Moves mm -hmm. have speed on them. Uh, we can see here on the play mat uh, that a move of two or more speed can claim this piece of treasure, Ooh. and moves of three or more speed can claim either one of these Ooh. pieces of treasure. Uh, moves also, uh, moves and uh, Attacks both sometimes have accompanying text that adds mm -hmm. extra flavor, extra power to uh, those moves and attacks. Um, so moves uh, usually help you accomplish tactical things, either involving the treasure lineup or up here in the event lineup. Um, after that, you have modifiers. Modifiers are pretty straightforward. Uh, they can change the effects of either moves or attacks, uh, adding speed and potentially damage. Uh, if you have a modifier that adds damage, it will not be able to add damage to a move that has no damage. Gotcha. Um, but if you have a modifier that has both speed and damage, it will be able to add speed to that move. Ooh. Um, okay. And modifiers Great. combined with any attack. Uh, after that, we have reactions, which have actually been retitled to be opportunities in the most recent edition of this game. Uh, but reactions or opportunities act like instants in magic, which means they mm. can be played at any time, even when it's not your turn, and they get resolved immediately. Mm. Finally, we have powers. Most powers uh, provide a passive benefit. Uh, you will play them by sticking them in front of you, mm -hmm. and they remain in front of you unless something removes them. Uh, because we have Gary on the field, Gary has animal forms which get removed when they run out of hit points. Um, oh, right. And there are a few things that remove powers, uh, but no one's characters have that ability baked in right now. With that, 
Um, because we allowed Tyler to be the first person to draft, I think uh, Darcy is right now going to claim the initiative token, which I will say is this red die. Um, and the initiative token determines who gets to move first. Uh, the way we play the game uh, is you will move back and forth playing a single card from your hand each turn, unless, of course, you've got a reaction, in which case you just play that outside the regular turn order, um, until both of you are out of cards or both of you decide to pass. Okay. Uh, you Ooh. can retain as many cards as you want uh, through passing. If you pass and then your opponent plays, you can decide to play again. Um, but once both people have passed, we will move to resolve our actions. Mm. And that is a little bit too much to juggle in your mind right now, so we're just going to play through this first round. Got Maybe it. you'll realize you made some mistakes, and we'll figure it out later. I am counting on it. Me too. I uh, can't wait to make mistakes. Can my HP Darcy. go above my starting point? Uh, if you have a card that says gain this many uh, hit points, then yes. If you have a card that says recover this many hit points, then no. All right. Okay. I, will, I will stop my cheats. And play Legs for Days. Legs for Days. Yes. So it gives me two speed, and I am going to claim one of them sweet treasures. All right. Well, you will when we get to resolve. When we get to resolve. Okay. <laughs> I then, you know what? I'm. It looks like we're in a land grab because I'm going to play Vampire Climb, <gasps> which is a two speed also. All right, so currently tied for speed. We'll see how this works out. Darcy, what's your next play? Uh, so I have other move cards I can play. Can yes, I play you another? can absolutely play as many move cards. They count as separate move cards and they will not increase the effectiveness of the first. Legs for days. <laughs> Legs for oh. days again. <laughs> An interesting play. All right. Okay, so you can't, so going more than yeah, it's another two, so I don't know if that will. So that anything. won't that won't uh, to peel back the curtain. That yeah. won't enhance your ability to grab the two speed item okay. Uh, okay. at this. Juncture. And they're not additive, so. They're not additive. They're not additive. Modifiers would be. Oh, okay then. I am going to play um, repost. Ooh, okay. And you wouldn't play a modifier at the same time, right? No, you, you would wait until the next uh, opportunity that you had. Wonderful. So repost is an interesting move, Darcy. Um, it is a move at one speed. Mm. However, if he manages to have that move resolve at a higher speed uh, than one of your attacks, he'll be able to turn the damage of that attack back on you. Mm. Ooh. Um, I'm going to pass then because I'm... Going to see how this plays out. Uh, I want to see if I did this correctly mm -hmm. or not. I'm going to play parry okay. on my repost. Throws parry on top of the repost, okay. increasing its speed by two, uh, giving it an overall speed of three. Okay. All right. And Darcy, you're up. Uh, I, okay. So is it expected? So I don't think I have anything that can significantly change that or go after one of these treasures. So mm -hmm. if I don't have either of those, I can just keep my hand, right? Yeah, absolutely. Keep passing. Great. I'm going to try to, to, to do some damage also. All Go right. So I'm going to play Grandpa 2. Grandpa 2. So I do a 2 speed and a 1 damage on my attack. All right. And any I, response from Darcy? Um, so if, if I have something that recovers HP, it doesn't. do I act on it immediately or do I wait till it resolves? You, so you right now you still have your full hit points. All I of do. this will resolve at the end of the round once we... I anticipate we... not having my full hit points. <laughs> yes. So w once that happens, you'll probably be able to use uh, okay. whatever okay. you're planning on using. Um, uh, it is a move, which is interesting. So we'll, you'll, you'll see how this works. Once we get to the, the end of the round, you'll okay. see how resolution works, and every round after that will be the same. I continue to pass. All right. Um, I pass also. Okay. I, I think, honestly, good strategic calls on both sides. <laughs> so now that we go to passing, we resolve the actions that we have in the field okay. in the order of speed. So okay. the first thing to resolve is this parry. Nice. Okay. Tyler, what are you going to do with that parry? Um, I think, so tell me if I'm correct on this. So I'm, I have the move that my parry is modifying. Uh, uh, the re so so you, you have repost, but there are no attacks opposing mm -hmm. you right, right. now. So, can I, so would I be able to use it to just go for a three speed? Absolutely. Sweet. That's what I want. Yeah. I just want that sweet, sweet yeah. treasure. And even if you were using it to turn uh, the damage of an attack back on an opponent, you would, would still, still be able to, be grab, able to that. grab that treasure. Well, I don't care about the tr damage, but I do care about the treasure. Sweet. All right. Which three treasure would you like I'll to grab? I'll take the one closest to me. All righty. 
So that resolves. Uh, place that yeah. in your discard pile. Is, is, um, uh, probably face up is better, uh, yeah, so you right. don't get them confused later on in the game. Uh, and now we come to our first tie in the game, okay. where mm -hmm. everything is moving at two speed. Generally speaking, uh, the player who has lower hit points would ah. win the tie, but uh. you're both tied for hit points right now, which means it defaults to the person who has the initiative token, which uh, is Darcy. There it is. There you go. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Darcy, you are up. Uh, Legs for Day is going to sneak in and grab that two speed treasure. All nice. righty. That Ooh. is yours. <gasps> and the treasure just Sweet. goes into our hand? Uh, the treasure. Uh, some treasures say, place this card in front of you. That happens immediately right. if they do. Uh, others go into your hand and they'll say, that happens right away. Yeah, um, sweet. So Darcy drew the goggles of soon-to-be. She's mm -hmm. going to be able to look at the top six cards of her deck and place them back in any order. That is so dope. Um, I got mm -hmm. flame decals. Flame decals. Oh, man. Oh, which is extremely useful to you right now. You, yeah. Yeah, you uh, I will answer your question already. Mm -hmm. You can use that immediately if you would like. Oh, so I could use it on... Uh, it's on on vampiric climb it would probably be the better move yeah okay i i will then all right so uh legs for days resolves um because that gives me the greater speed so then i can you can then claim the other the, three speed treasure i do all I right that three speed so treasure. that goes to you um uh which then uh Unless that is something that needs to resolve. Vampiric Climb has been used. Uh, Legs for Days uh, right now actually can't accomplish anything. Right. Um, but uh, first, because we are uh, back at a tie again, two and two, mm -hmm. uh, we have to figure out whose action goes first. It is Legs for Days. There's nothing that Legs for Days can accomplish. So Runs we'll go a lot. be discarded. And then uh, finally, we get down to Grand Paw 2. Mm -hmm. um, which there's no more treasure on the board, so, so well, I would just... The speed on uh, tax really just matters what order you resolve things ah, in the initiative. So uh, that means that one damage is now dealt okay. to Darcy. Cool. Wonderful. Ouch. I deal one damage to you. And then I discard, yes? Then that goes into the discard as well. At the end of the round, we refill one, tre mm. one slot for treasure, and we bring out a new event. Flaming Arrows! Um, at the end of next round, the player with the lowest speed takes two damage, and then you discard this event. Uh -oh. So now, we've got a bit of a race. Okay. Uh, Scales of Power is still in play. Now, uh, take your hands, uh, make sure you're holding them, and draw back up to five cards. Okay, cool. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Uh, does the initiative token move? So the initiative token, uh, because Tyler had the fastest move last round, he is now going to be claiming the initiative Ooh. token for this new round. Cool. Cool. Um, modifiers can only be played on top of Yes, things. you can't have right. a floating modifier. How, how dare I? Yeah. <laughs> um, I am, I'm going to pass. All right. Straight out the gate. Uh... Interesting. An interesting tactic. Mm -hmm. Very curious. Curious, curious. Uh, let's see. I'm going to play a power first. Ooh, powers are love cool. it. Uh, I don't know if we want to put this on the big cam because it's super cool. It doesn't have art, but it's it's so cute. Oh, the giant toad. The form. giant toad. Gotta love it. Uh, I can deal uh, damage I take to the toad instead of to wow. myself because I'm horrible. <laughs> and yeah, you can I'll divide that. Billion. You can divide that damage up as you ah, like as too. So cool. you could, if you had three incoming damage, you could deal two to the toad nice. and uh, one to yourself. Um, though keep in mind, Tyler also has the option of targeting the toad first. Okay. Oh. So he could uh, target that toad and then he wouldn't dare. No, I have lose. no beef with the toad. <laughs> You would lose the passive ability that the toad provides you, which is all of Gary's attacks yeah. and moves have plus, plus two one speed. Yep. Or plus one speed? Plus one. Plus one speed. Oh, well now maybe I do have beef with that toad. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. I've but... done you no harm, <laughs> yeah, sir. Um, okay, so I so it is my turn, yes? It is now your turn. I'm going to play a reaction. I believe this Ooh. makes sense. So draw an item card would be... Yes, One of and those? you can draw. You can draw this item card, or you can draw straight from the top of the deck. It is up to you. I'm going to draw 
from the top of the, well, no. You want to take it away from me? Here, here's what I want to, uh, just to make clear, it, the next time an item card comes in, does this one scoot down? Uh, this or will not scoot down, the next one, one will goes, come in. Then I want slide. that one. I want that three speed one. Yeah, oh, you want the yeah. nice one. Yeah, I want the nice one. <laughs> All right, I got fabulous boots. Ooh. Boots. On your turn, you may gain inspiration you wouldn't normally qualify for if you do discard the, the boots. So inspiration Ooh. is one of the event cards that has not popped up yet. Um, right. But uh, they're useful powers. Nice. So with that, uh, Tyler has just played a reaction, so technically it's still his turn. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well. Um, I am going to pass. Oh. Sudden betrayal. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now I will do your harm, sir. Uh, it is a three-speed attack with one damage. And because of uh, the giant toad form, it's actually a four-speed attack with yes. one damage, which oh, no. does mean that Darcy is moving considerably fast, uh, putting you at risk to get hit by flaming arrows. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to play my Potion of Vitality. Ooh. And shuffle five cards from my discard into my deck. Okay. Wow. Which is all of them. <laughs> so, so that so works. I hope you really liked all those cards. Yeah. Well, you in, into your deck, not into, your hand. Into here. Oh, okay. 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 I've liked so many cards. Darn. That, that would really... be, man, uh, that would be an extreme. I, I don't think I could do five, but like, even like draw three cards from your discard and put it put in it your back hand. Your hand. Nuts. OP. And it would have really yes. helped me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll uh, bet. Okay, uh, and then discard this as well, or uh, so yes, uh, that 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 has been used. So you right. discard that. I'll just set that. I'll just set it aside. Um, and then that's my turn. I'm a lover and a fighter, so I'm going to play the power of love, which is a modifier oh on my, my sudden betrayal, goodness. which is just beautiful. So uh, now it's doing three damage, three and damage. it has a ridiculous six speed. Yeah, uh, actually, my mo my moves and oh, it, yeah, it just yeah, I was I was incorporating that. <gasps> Dang it. Okay, cool. Now, so correct me if I'm wrong. No attacks have been resolved yet. No attacks correct. have been resolved yet. Right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, I have to pass. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. All right, and finally, I will play aid. Uh, Recover when it will uh, let me move to speed, and it will let me recover a hit point. All right. I am getting wiped out. This and round. you Don't recover worry. one hit I point. I stack the deck and uh, have a lot of crappy cards coming. <laughs> you you recover one hit point immediately at this point. Yes. Sweet. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Um, because the text uh, took place up here. Uh, oh, if, cool. if it says if it says uh, when this attack nice. resolves, that's a limitation. It Otherwise, like, it happens as soon as you play it. it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I still have to pass. I also oh. pass. <laughs> All right, which brings us to resolution. I will point out to Tyler, yeah. um, when we get to the portion where we're refilling the lineup and whatnot, if you have cards that are not useful to you, you will be able to voluntarily oh, discard good. them. Though, a thing to be aware of, in the Dungeon Dome card game, it is possible to deck yourself. Uh, so you don't oh. want to do that too liberally. No, but yeah. it might be a good idea to cool. get rid of some cards that you don't feel you can use. Uh, so now we go to resolution, and the first thing that happens is this sudden betrayal goes off, dealing Tyler three damage. Reaction. <gasps> oh. So uh, I'll take my three damage, and then I get Raise to me. immediately deal three damage to an <gasps> opponent. Bye, Toad. Oh, no! How oh, dare oh, you? Oh, oh. Directing that damage at the Toad. Okay. Brutal. That Toad. rebuked. Yeah, that it Toad was has hellishly. been rebuked. R.I.P. Toad. <sighs> so sad. Uh, let's everybody have a moment of silence for the Toad. All right. Ribbit. Uh, now we're Robert back in great. it. Um, <laughs> these are discarded. Uh, Tyler did not field any uh, actions, so aid mm. also happens, and there is a treasure a speed. on the board. Give me that treasure. All right. There you are. Awesome. Um, aid gets discarded, we refill a single treasure slot, and now that we're at round three, we have three events running simultaneously. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! This is actually a delight, because no, the, treasure, a delight the treasure that Darcy was drew was arrows, uh, which is going to deal... <laughs> oh no, actually, it is not going to deal you any damage, because uh, your speed was more than four. 
at the you end of that round. You outrun the arrows. You outran those arrows. Oh, okay. So that's the dungeon dome I know and love. Mm -hmm. The uh, I'm the, turning a corner and the whole dome is against me. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, that, Resurrect the toad as a subskeleton. And Accurate. Uh, the yeah. flaming arrows did manage to I hit know, Tyler. I did notice that. Hitting him yeah. with two damage. Okay. Uh, so because this 20. is the third round, we now refill two treasure, uh, two event slots. Uh, we've got second wind. Oh, bad luck, Tyler. All oh, players no. shuffle their discard piles back into their decks. Oh. Continue the match with the same hit points and discard this card. Um, then we have the Sniper Tower coming into play. A move with five or more speed can claim this. At the end of the round, add one damage to an attack if you uh, claim, or have possession of that card. Or you can discard this card at any time to add five damage to a single attack. So... Okay. A valuable piece of terrain there. Um, with that, once you have finished shuffling your decks, yeah. you will draw back up to five, and we'll begin round three. Uh, here we go, here we go. Darcy is now, once again, in possession of the initiative token, and you will be able to play an act first. Okay. And hey, you got to shuffle your deck after all those crappy cards that you put on top of it, so. That's true. That's, that's real true. good luck uh, for you. real lucky. Uh, and Mr. Toad is Potentially back in play. Oh, oh yeah, resurrected wow. the toad as a skeleton. Thank you, Rourke. Yes. Oh man, I am so looking forward to uh, the skeletons and nonsense that people will be able to do in the next Dungeon yes. Dome match on Saturday. Oh gosh. Okay, cool. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Can I see that while I'm thinking? The sniper tower? Yeah, yes. sniper tower, okay, cool. I just want to read it because I just want to read it and let you guys forget about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's no, all. No reason. It's no, just she always had no, it. Yeah, yeah, always, always had possession of it. Uh, okay, you, cool. I, I like the idea of you can claim this card if yeah. you can trick your opponent into thinking you deserve it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if you can trick them into thinking you already had it, yeah. it's yours. <laughs> uh, man, that is uh, so tempting as a card to add to the game. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a mendacity card. I love I love yeah. the idea of giving someone a benefit if they can like subtly steal the card from the event lineup without being noticed. Kind of like a, that. It's a, a card game version of spoons. I'm really right. That's the yeah. game. Well, yeah. I can't wait until you guys get some of the wacky challenge cards in this game. Uh, but right now, Darcy, we're we're at your move. Uh, even though I know my toad form will come back to me, <laughs> sun betrayal again. Cause oh. Quick, oh, wow. Very damaging. Uh, well, I have to re respond with the three sword strike. Three sword <gasps> strike. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and increase my speed on it. All right. So it is now going to be moving at four speed. Are those thanks in your to the boots? flame decals. That's my flame decals. Oh. Uh, and then I'll be discarding this after this, right? Or is this uh, no? That's this is permanent. Dicks around. Woo! Ooh, flame decal. You've got a whole sheet of, shik uh, a sheet of stickers <laughs> that you can uh, stick on whatever you want. That's okay, great. They make it faster. Stickers don't. Sticker sheets don't last forever. Okay. Yeah. At some point, you've given them all away or put them all in your cool trapper keepers. Yeah. Darcy, sticker okay. expert, <laughs> coming okay. after us hard with that realism. Uh, I like prefer artisan. Uh, okay, I'm going to add. The power of love to this sudden betrayal Ooh. because it was a good combo before and it's going to be a good combo again. Okay, I'm going to add. Um, I I hate being betrayed by love twice, so I'm going to add <laughs> Hell's Fury Ooh. to my three sword what? strike. Dang, dang, dang! So you got lots of move on Bring that, that up huh? To six damage. Yeah. That what? is a rough card. Yeah. Um, Uncool. Darcy, what you got? Um, is Tyler considered a monster? Uh, no, Tyler would not. Monsters. I consider show you up. a monster. Yeah, for that's the fair. record, yeah. there we go. I'm, I murdered an innocent giant toad. That's, so that's fair. Yeah, it's it's deeply fair. Okay, well in that case, <laughs> uh, I'm going to play. I apparently played all my same cards back into my hand. Likes for days because I want some. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Vampiric Curse. Can I modify a modifier? Oh, you can keep modif you Heck can put yeah. unlimited yeah. modifiers so on. I'm the modifying cards. that. So, so that's two more damage. That's eight damage now. That is a huge attack. Yikes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Can I read that card again? Uh. Yes. So it's it's five total damage. Or five total speed. Five. A move with five speed. A move. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to. Who acts first? How do we know? I act first, right? Because I have initiative. 
uh, so it would be um, you need a move of five plus speed. Right. If you can get legs for days up to five speed, then I you have five speed able... with my son betrayal. Mm, this move only has two speed though. Oh, it needs to be a move. Yeah. Nope. Um, okay. Nope. 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 <laughs> In that case, I pass. And it has to be a move, it can't be an attack with speed on it. At Names Equipped, I'm going to say that you can definitely curse JPC on this stream. <laughs> yeah. It's allowed. Encouraged. Please do. Uh, he deserves it. Uh, the costs are doubled. <laughs> uh, it, it has to be a, a move, not an action. Or yeah. an attack, right? Yeah, it yeah. is a move, okay. not an attack. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to play. I'll just add my Jeez. Shadow Self Jeez. speed modifier onto my attack. All right. I'm wow. called for. Yeah. So moving at four speed, doing eight damage. Moving at so six speed. Unbelievable. Names equip has cursed JPC. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Thank you so bless much. Bless you. Uh, six speed because my flame decals. Ridiculous. All right. This is a really fast hit. Pass. This is this is gonna be fast. Pass. Pass. Two passes. So uh, I think still the. This is moving at five speed. This is at two, four, a lot. six. <laughs> oh yeah! Wow, yeah. that's that's yep. one more. All right, so Tyler is going to get the initiative token at the end of the round, okay. but first, uh, resolve that attack. That is eight damage. Jesus. Boop. Moving Darcy down to seventeen. Yep. Wow. And Tyler, you're at twenty. Right? I'm at twenty. Oh boy. So this game getting getting pretty close. It's getting I knew I'd mow through that HP <laughs> that uh, was generously given me. The next thing that happens, okay. though, is uh, the sudden betrayal. Nice. Yes. Uh, so that is three damage. Three damage. Hellish uh, rebuke. Another hellish rebuke on that! <laughs> dang, dang, right. dang! We need to replay the tapes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just reshuffled in my one card uh, that I played. Do they just go to discard that? Yeah, it goes okay. to discard. Uh, um, and you, so you still I take, take that three damage. Three damage. So you're yep. at 17, and Darcy is now down to, I believe, 14? Uh, oh, that did damage. Yeah, that did three damage. Oh, boy. That is hellish. It's really funny how difficult it is 14. to find one 14. number on a 20-sided die. <laughs> I know. I'm like, have I never seen a die 20 I wish yeah. I had. I, like, I got these because I thought they would be spin down, but they oh. are not. The ones yeah. that are next to each other. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so it the, adds the anxiety of the game, though, yeah, which is it, also It does nice. make it be like, like oh, <laughs> the pressure. But the anxiety is, I don't want to look dumb in front of my friends. <laughs> oh, boy, I better 17. know how to do math. Too um, late. I, I yeah. knew I was. <laughs> That's why in the Dungeon Dome card game uh, Kickstarter, we are trying to uh, print it so that we can get little spin wheels. So it'll be a much That's easier so to cool. calculate hit points and whatnot. Um, Legs for Days is the last thing to resolve. Boom, give me that two speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need all the advantage I can time. get. <laughs> oh, she, she oh, confused. okay. Ooh. All right. Let me see what you got. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is, this is a Darcy card, is what that's that is. That's a definitely Darcy card. Okay. Um, so Tyler now has the initiative token. We refill one slot in the treasure lineup, and a new event comes into play. The floor is lava. Oh, no. Players who end the turn with a speed less than three lose two hit points. Any player who owns terrain is immune. Wow. So okay. there is some terrain on the field right now, the sniper tower. So if okay. somebody okay. manages to claim that, they will become immune. You should uh, discard oh, yep. that okay. and draw back up to five cards. Okay. Um, and the item stays sort of like, the I, I have it. Yeah, but it's... It, it does it say it, it, this does not count to your hand oh, size. Oh, it does say. Add this to your hand. It does not count towards your hand total. Okay, so cool. yeah, you okay. can just nice. hold it in your hand. Um, and because it has a different card back, it is understood. Sweet. What's going on? Nice. James, somebody asked yes. uh, in the chat, and I personally was wondering also, are there are those shirts for sale? Oh, they, the Dungeon Dome shirts are for sale. Uh, you can go to the One Shot Tee Public store. You can actually just Google Tee Public Dungeon Dome, and they'll pop right up. Uh, all all uh, there, there are two Dungeon Dome logo designs uh, for sale. Uh, all of the uh, Dungeon Dome teams that, that appeared in Don't season mind me. one. And the cheating rule. <laughs> yeah, the, the cheating rule. <laughs> well, I just uh, had an extra card in my hand, and I thought about going with it, and you guys wouldn't notice, but <laughs> I decided to set a good example for the kids. Yeah, thank Darcy you. Darcy set a good example for those kids. <laughs> all righty. Sweet, so your initiative, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so uh, who gets to play first? 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I am going to. I'm going to do. I'm going to. Uh, what am I going to do? Shoot. What? Lava is speed less than three. Well, then I'm just going to play a, a simple repost. Mm. Wait. I did it, so I will do it. All right. <laughs> yep. You that's please. how that works. So that's, that is what that's, we do that's now. That's the example I set for the children is <laughs> commit. Commit even if it's a bad idea. Even if, it's even a if demonstrably... I regret it, I will still follow through. Wow. I'm not... Embrace your regrets, kids. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, okay. I, I need a move. I need a speed more, less than three. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I need more than three, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm I'm going to play for the sheer joy of it and not because of the optimal uh, move. Bear form. Bear form. Yes. Ooh. Bear form has five HP. Uh, like like R.I.P. Robert the Toad. Uh, <laughs> I may deal damage from an attack to my darling bear. Chat name bear for me, would you? Uh, my yeah, bear, bear form. form. Uh, instead of my HP, and I get some extra a plus one to all my attacks. Wow. Oh, plus one to all of Gary's attacks. I all believe. Gary's attacks. Good call. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I'm going to play Hellblade. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so that's two damage, two speed. Vicious. Interesting. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do. Um, oh. Yeah, Ursula is a good name. Ursula is a great name. Ursula is a great, name. great yeah. name. Thank you. Very solid. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play uh, Sudden Betrayal, also from Gary. Yeah, which uh, will be, uh, that, that has the damage souped exactly. up by the bear form. Nice. Yep. Um, I'm going to play, I'm going to play Parry on my Hellblade. Mm. Ooh, making it a 4-4 four, four attack. Uh -huh. Nice. However, uh, I still have the power of love, and so I'm going to modify, I know this is like my signature That's move. That's your yeah, signature, that is your signature uh, move. I swear that I'm not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, there have been a lot of cards that have called to shuffle stuff back into the deck. Yeah. Right. Uh, so. Yep. So uh, I've got five speed on that and three damage. But if bear form, if Ursula, my dear it's Ursula. It's four damage now because yeah, of the bear exactly. form. Yeah, exactly. So your move, monster. Um, I'm going to play my soul steel arm. See? Ooh. This is a power item. Uh, so all incoming attacks are reduced by one damage. This is considered equipment and can be affected by any card that affects equipment, which wow. we haven't gotten to yet. No, we have not. So. How curious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what a fascinating mechanic I certainly know nothing about. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Under Pressure as I scamper around a little bit and see if we can't get some of that sweet, sweet treasure. Yes. Oh, no. Um, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to play uh, Flame Decals on my re repost mm -hmm. to get my just move speed up. Okay. Um, cause I'm just, I'm just scared of this lava. Um, is that my turn or do I play a card as well? Um, uh, so that, that is not your turn. You, you play a card as well. Great. I'll play Grandpa One. Grandpa One. Mm hmm Excellent. Orb of Breaking Things. Uh, discard this to discard all items in play, which includes... Oh! <laughs> Orb of breaking things, and does it destroy does it, the flame decals? It does destroy boots. the flame decals and I, the boots. And the boots. Uh, All uh, items okay, in that play. That is way more brutal than I thought. No, it's, I regret it's it. Only it's a, little a bit. devastating, devastating move. That. Oof. Yep. Tyler, it is your turn. I'm out I of love cards. these items. I'm gonna pass, Darcy. Back to uh, you. I'm gonna pass. All right, so we move to resolution. Um, okay. I think the fastest thing on the field is actually the sudden betrayal, moving at five. Nice. And uh, so. So you resolve that four damage so against four Tyler. damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm at thirteen. Then the next up is uh, the Hellblade, uh, which is uh, four speed, four damage. Mm -hmm. um, so nice. that resolves down to a ten. I'm hurting. Or you can. I, I will remind you. Deal some damage to the bear form if you so choose. Oh, nice. Wow, brutal. Uh, let's share in the pain, mm -hmm. Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> I will take, uh, so it's four total? Yes. I'll take two and Ursula can take two. All right, that makes sense to me. Thank you, Ursula. Um, keeping, keeping up above that uh, 10, 
below 10 damage mark, which is an important mark. Good call. Um, right. Um, Forgot so about then that. Grandpa <laughs> one. Yes. I believe resolves next on my stuff, so that's a. Oh. Well, actually, or that's two speed. Um, you're both. You both have moves right. on the field that are at two speed. Uh, which, I am at lower HP. Yeah, which means Darcy's at lower HP, and she gets to resolve hers yes, first. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, oh. And picks up it. that item. Mm. That's okay. <gasps> Do I have to play this yet? Um, oh, you it? placed that card in front uh, of you. Okay. Yorick Master Skull uh, <laughs> places card in front of you. Skeletons uh, uh, skeletons well, attack only your enemy. Only cool. your enemy. Oh, no. Yeah. So, so no skeletons have come into play yet. Um, but uh, this is Dungeon Dome. Would it be Dungeon Dome without skeletons? I mean, it would be hard for it to be Dungeon Dome without skeletons unless, of course, the event lineup was pretty crowded, uh, which it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, True. So we, yeah, we have to get rid of these. At this point, uh, there's nothing that we can add to the event lineup, but we do refill a slot of tri- Oh, no, wait, actually. Uh, so I do one damage from my grandpa one. Yeah. Oh, no. And then I have- uh, Ursula dives in to help me out. Okay. That's nice. And then I have my one speed repost, which, which does, does nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. It just does nothing. Own your regrets, kids. Own those regrets. <laughs> Uh, we do refill a single treasure on the treasure nice. slot, and everybody draws up to five. Cool. Great. Are we affected by the lava then? Oh, uh, so we yeah. Uh, so faster? yeah, oh, you all call. had something faster than three speed, so nobody loses hit points there. That's right. a relief. And now I didn't draw enough cards. Good job. <laughs> Snail skeletons. Oh no. Oh. I, hey, I'm a biologist. I've seen a lot of snail skeletons in my day. Though, if you want to see snail skeletons in the game, you can always back at the skeleton level and demand that one of the skeletons be a snail skeleton. One or yeah. all. <laughs> yeah, you could you could spend the ludicrous amount of money to make that happen. Over and over again. There are yeah. six skeleton slots, and each one is four hundred dollars. So, if you want Will Kirkby to draw six <laughs> bespoke snail skeletons, <laughs> that's your prerogative. But you, Darcy, you said that you're a biologist. How much does a human skeleton go on the open market? Oh, wow. Well, uh, <laughs> we would need to talk about it. There's sort of a seasonality to right, it. Right, you're right. You know, right. with yeah. med students. and uh, <laughs> Right. I would guess more than $400. Quite so possibly. You're really, really getting a deal. A real deal. A mess of a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Um, who, uh, so do I maintain initiative or does it bounce uh, back so to So we bounce back to Darcy because right. she had the fastest. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I have a reaction. Return two cards from your discard into your deck. Ooh. So can I go above five? Um, return says, two cards into, to my your, deck. into your deck. deck. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to play that reaction. Doot, doot, doot. All right. That's uh, my first move. Well, I guess that's not a move, right? That's, that's, that's just a, a cool. Boom. I'm going to. Uh, oh, that, right. That's not a move. It's not she a move. It's a reaction. So it's still her turn. Winner. She's just. I'm just taking my sweet time, making you no. sweat. And I am. <laughs> uh, oh, I love this one. It makes me so happy. Uh, official, official merchandise only. Uh, it's a move action, but it gives me plus two speed to collect an item. So it Ooh. moves at one speed, but at the time it resolves, uh, it will get that extra two to its speed if it's collecting an item from the lineup. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, I'm going to play Small Benjamin's Impulsive Grab. Impulsive Grab! I'll draw an item card immediately, and I'm going to take that one that's on the board. Right. You Monster. draw it, and you use it immediately, too. I so. do. Let it be arrows. Sticky Blob. <laughs> <laughs> Impulsive Grab. Oh. So add Tell this me. to your hand. You may discard this card after drawing for the round. So, so it's so. just taking up real estate yeah, in your hand. It's just in here. So it's just... Uh, but when you draw up to five for next round, I you're have to gonna have... Uh, draw one less. Yep. Yep. So Ooh. that's okay with me. That's Small it... Benjamin reached yeah. in there and it came felt, out with a sticky it, blob on yeah, his hand. It felt right. It felt appropriate. <laughs> Does it still feel right? You're the one who likes snails, Darcy. It is a blob. Yeah. They are disgusting, horrific creatures who I adore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, cool. Was that a your move? That was yeah, my. That was a reaction, actually. So. Oh, it was. Oh, you're right. So my move is going to be vampire climb. Ah, it is a move uh, that is two speed or three speed if it's to claim terrain. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh. 
Grr. Dang it. Okay. All right. I don't know if this really makes sense, but I want to do it. So All right. yeah. ambush. Uh, it is a reaction immediately moved to the resolution phase after the next card your opponent plays. So oh, I want to hamstring no. you even more. <laughs> Good luck, Perry. Uh, so uh, the only card I wanted to play, I was able to, which <laughs> is uh, a modifier to my move speed. So that mm. does bring it up. He is going to be able to claim that sniper tower. Okay. All right. So yep. we, we have Pass. immediately ended the round. Uh, right. It comes to first time. Okay, uh, so I get my sniper tower. Get the sniper tower. Wonderful. Um, and does this just hang out here, or does it go into my? You have hand? to tap it first. So, All right. So yeah, that that that, that, that hangs out there. Um, so okay. uh, each round you'll be able to add one damage to an attack, and wow. you can discard the card itself to Very add powerful. five damage. Jeez. Cool. Uh, that's my hand, and then I have, uh, of course, sticky blob. Mm -hmm. um, which I will continue to hold on to. Yeah, that, to that, help that, that mm -hmm. horrible curse. Yep. Um, but that does mean uh, the next thing to resolve is official merchandise only, which gets that plus uh, two speed uh, for claiming an item that is gone. Oh, I was too slow. <laughs> but I did save you from Sticky Blob. You did you save did. me from Sticky Blob. Yeah. So uh, that's why you stick to the official merchandise. Only. <laughs> discard uh, the stuff that's in the field. Yep. Um, at the end of the round, we refill a single item from the treasure slot, and we get a new event. Oh. Which is Skeleton 2! Wow, uh, yay! Skeleton 2 deals one damage to the player with the lowest speed, and any attack can destroy Skeleton 2. However, because Yorick Master Skull is in play, Skeleton 2 is only gonna attack Tyler. Yeah, only chasing after me. Uh, cool, and then we draw, right? Yep. Great. You have to watch me slowly shuffle again. <laughs> For tension. And now I can discard Sticky Blob, right? Sticky Blob is discarded. <laughs> <laughs> Although, honestly, after having my own, my second hand of the game be all and only modifiers, I feel <laughs> oh, like no. having just four cards is feels still pretty feels solid. easier to play. Than <laughs> Good. Ooh, okay. Uh, who won the initiative also? Um, that was actually Tyler yeah. with, okay. with his. Um, I am going to play Quick Strike. Ooh, okay. So, three speed, one damage. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I want to do uh, brother. Brother! Uh, once <laughs> it's an attack and it's one speed and two damage. Brother! Uh, it will be one more damage, assuming Ursula makes it, you monster. Oh, wait, how much? She's got two she hit points. She's two. I never should have drawn your attention no, you to really it. Mistakes were have. made. Really should not have. Uh, <laughs> he's going to deal. With the lowest speed, oh man, well it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, um, I am, I'm just gonna play Grandpa 2. Grandpa 2. Cool, and that's an attack, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to play Legs for Days. Moving around. Pass. Um, I'm gonna pass. Uh, I will also pass. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So we come to the end of the round. Uh, first thing that happens is quick strike. Yep. So I'm going to add a damage to it with my sniper tower uh, and do two damage to Ursula. It turns out I don't like animals. Wow. Yeah. It, it turns Are you going to let this monster know. win? And Gary is the one who has uh, the enemy to animals card in his deck. <gasps> so really surprising. Turn I know. There. Yeah. Confusing. You've but changed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have. Uh, okay, so next thing that resolves is... is um, let's see, both at two speed. Looks mm -hmm. like Darcy has lower hit points by one, so uh, Legs for Days goes first. Okay, I want that treasure. Mm -hmm. I really yes. like getting treasure. It's kind of my favorite thing. Treasure is extremely fun. It's very fun. Okay. Sweet. Do I have to announce it? Um, uh, no, I don't think no, so. No, okay, that's, cool. that's, that's in your hand. Oh, no. Uh, wow. Unbelievably brutal cards that Darcy has been handed. <laughs> yeah, I can feel and it. And I, I can feel it in the air. Um, I guess... The crackling. Then, uh, I just have Grandpa 2 as my only other card to play. All right, Grandpa. Well, uh, 
Let's see, yeah, because that goes at a faster speed. So you will take one damage, Darcy, bringing you down to 11. Ooh. Mm. Um, and then and then you hit me, right? Mm-hmm. For, mm -hmm. for two damage. Two damage. Yeah, oh, okay. Dang. Are we, like, neck and neck? Yeah. I yeah. assumed I was losing this no, way no, faster. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you are both very close. Uh, uh, brother gets resolved. Yes. Uh, floor is lava goes off. I don't think anyone had three speed. This I, my attack did, oh. but my move didn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be a move. It just it needs to be an my attack. Quick strike. So that means Darcy is the only one who takes two hit points worth of damage. I'm now below yes, ten. Yes, yes, yes. Which oh, does that matter, matter now anymore? Anyway? Terrain. Um, yeah, you actually you're immune because of the terrain. That's right. <laughs> um, so uh, now at nine. You're, you're, you are you are below ten hit points. You okay, can, what happens? You can claim it if you would like. <gasps> yes, claim it. All right, you have the scales of power. Yes, the scales so of I power. So now I immediately go to 10. Uh, that's only if she decides only to use it now. Play it. I get it. I'm going to wait. Yeah, Yeah. why wow. not? Brutal. You control the yeah. scales of power. I now, control here's it. Here's a question. got to linger. Now, Let now that, that breathe. Now that she has it, could she have played that for Ursula? Uh, scales of power? <laughs> um, no, because it, that, that's not... Uh, yeah, okay, good. That's a power card. I did. That, okay, good. That's what I figured. That I just didn't been want to ask. Buck wild. Yeah, it would be crazy if I got reduced. I would to the, try it. Yeah, You're correct. To the, mm -hmm. to the hit definitely. points of a bear. Um, but scales yeah. of power is now in your hand. You've claimed okay. it to your hand, and it is taking up real estate. It's true. Okay. Um, uh, so with that, uh, we do at the end of the round. Uh, the skeleton two is going to attack Tyler. Even if I wasn't the slowest. Uh, yes, because yeah. she's got the York Master Skull. So it's going to come, it will ignore her speed either way. I mm -hmm. see. Yeah. Um, I, then I we, understand. we get to add another item. Yeah, this is one of the first uh, Dungeon Dome uh, actual plays that we've done where people have really prioritized emptying out the uh, treasure line. It's not the emptying, it's the getting. It's the getting, it's the <laughs> secret surprise. Ooh. And we have high ground, another piece Ooh. of terrain. Uh, a move with a three plus speed can claim that one. Um, and you would be immune to trap effects on the ground, uh, including the floor is lava. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, even though you have the initiative, I'm going to play reaction to <clears throat> steal that good feeling of getting to go first from you. Oh, this wow. This is the moral breakdown. Uh, so I'm playing Tenacity, shuffle the top three cards from your discard pile into your deck. deck. Wow. Okay. Brutal. You're, yeah, you really took my... Stole your thunder. Yeah, I did. You really stole my thunder on that one, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I have to pay for it by shuffling. <laughs> I am... Uh, you know what? Kitty's got to do what Kitty's got to do. Kitty's got uh, claws. And as, oh, no. uh, before I even go, I'm going to play my <laughs> reaction card of drawing that item card immediately with my impulsive grab. Impulsive grab. Meow. How dare you? Uh, Gosh. Wonder if it's going to be My hand trap. size is plus one. Oh, shoot. That's nice. a huge one. All right. I, we need to take him down. That is a well, well, wildly well. powerful item. Um, uh, and then. I will play uh, Three Sword Strike as the first formal move of the round. All right. Three Sword Strike has uh, been played. I'm going to play, although it's dangerous given your your uh, zoological rage, <laughs> Giant Spider. Giant so, Spider! Uh, yeah. Giant Spider has three uh, hit points and can add Ooh. two damage to a single attack. Yep. Uh, gross. Uh, I'll play Vampire Climb. Mm. Mm. Let's see, It'll let's see. It'll be extremely see. useful with high ground in play. Might be able to box you out of That's true. protecting yourself from the lava. The form. I'm going to play Under Pressure. It's two speed. I know. Yeah. I'm going to play uh, Shadow Stealth on top of my, my uh, Vampire Climb. So I'm moving at four speed. On this. Well, I hope you feel good. <laughs> yeah. uh, yep, I pass. Uh, I pass. All right, so uh, we go to resolution. Uh, fastest thing is going to be uh, Shadow Stealth. Great, I'm going to take this high ground card. Yep, yep, yep. Great. All right, and uh, the next thing down, Darcy has something going at two speed. Uh, you've got something going down to two speed, so Darcy's goes first. Mm 
Um, I do movement and nothing else because there's nothing to grab because you're a monster. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. So that resolves. Mm -hmm. And Tyler, uh, your attack goes off. It does three, a whopping three damage. Uh, I'm going to have it do four. Four with damage. My sniper tower. Okay. All right. Um, but I'm going to have three go at that giant spider. And then I'll just have one go to you. So I'm just smashing actually the you spider. can't divide it. Oh up right, because it's all yeah. one single attack. So you're either hitting the spider or you're hitting Darcy. I'll hit Darcy. Oh. I'll save. I'll save your spider this round. I will point out to Darcy as a strategy note that yes. uh, Tyler does have the sniper tower. Um, what does that do? Which means that he can discard it uh, to add five damage to yeah, one of his so attacks. Yeah, so I'm now in. So you are now in a, uh, the danger death, zone. Uh, yeah, zone. It was funny. You pointed that out to Darcy, but it really felt like you were pointing it out to me. You know, I'm pointing it out yeah. to everybody. I'm just mm -hmm. uh, teaching the controversy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How much does it take to attack you, James? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Based on Twitter, it doesn't take much effort to attack me at all. Oh, ouch. Uh, I'm going to play... Do I, I can play this now, right? Uh, yes, Anytime. you can. Scales of power. Welcome to five oh. land. Oh, oh my God. Hope oh. you oh. like your stay here. Okay. All right. Uh, I assume this goes into like some sort of separate discard pile, right? Mm, uh, I mean, it, the, the, it's got a different back, so you would know okay. it wouldn't shuffle back into your hand. Okay. So... The end of the round, we refill one item for the treasure slot, oh and what God. is likely the last round of this game, and what comes out, an inspiration. <gasps> uh, <laughs> you can claim this on your turn if you discard two cards. What does an inspiration do? Well, if you discard a single inspiration, it allows you to draw a new card. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have two inspiration in your hand, uh, you can resolve a single wow. move or an attack before the end of the <gasps> round. And if you somehow manage to accumulate three inspiration at a single time, you could draw up to your hand limit. Wow. So wildly, wildly powerful stuff that could be going Dang. on. Uh, unfortunately, Tyler's fabulous boots uh, have been destroyed by the or orb of breaking things, so he's not just going to be able to grab that. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. All right. And Tyler has the initiative token, so it's going to be his move first. This could okay. be a critical move. This could be. Uh, okay, so... Oh, you need two. In, oh, I see. Okay. You got to discard okay. two cards from your hand in order to get it. A but fairly I would need... substantial sacrifice. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I would need. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play Panther form. Ooh. Wow. Uh, All right. Yeah. Mr. Turns, hates animals. Turns out I hate other animals. Chat. I need to know. <laughs> I need to know what the giant spider form's name is, and I need yeah. to know what the panther's name is. Yeah. It's critical to understanding this last juncture here. No, I think. You became a giant. You have a giant spider. I think I just. I think I just am. Well, a see, panther. Gary actually just Is turns it, into the giant yeah, he spider. Mm -hmm. But we can name these animal forms yeah. uh, because it was in. You know, it's the spider I met that I. I yeah, met you're, you're right. This is I your dear under. friend. My yeah. dear, <laughs> dear friend. Yeah. Who I'm emulating. Yeah, yeah. First I name giant, creating. last name spider. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, with that played, Darcy, it is your turn, and knowing what's in your deck, I am very curious as to what you're going to do. Yes. Uh, my dear friend, I'm going to spend my action uh, giving you stun powder. Stun powder? Brutal. The most oh, brutal no. item card in the item deck, or, or at least one of them. <laughs> Add this to your hand as an action. Discard stun powder to make your opponent discard their hand. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> if Tyler uh. had a single attack card in his hand and he had played it first, Darcy would be running against the clock, I trying know. to either gain hit points or prevent that attack from happening. Oh uh, but this this will be at least one more round unless Darcy can finish it now. Oh, ooh, ooh, um, ooh, ooh. So, Tyler will be assumed to be passing. Uh, Darcy, what you, you were, got? That was so well close. played. Yeah. Okay, the, all right. What I need is... I was is... like confused why she didn't do it earlier, yeah. but man, oh man, was it the right move yeah, to wait. That really I'm discarding a card, day. and I'm taking the inspiration. Mm. Oh, Give discarding that. two cards. Two cards. Hap take happily. Two. Oh my gosh, does she not have an attack? 
in her oh, sure. hand. <laughs> you didn't have an attack. <laughs> so I draw a card. So yeah, you can now you discard Spend the inspiration that. to draw a card. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So uh, first, I'm going to play brother. Brother. Uh, one okay. speed, two damage. And because it is one of Gary's moves, uh, she would be able to add two damage to it. Okay. Yep. And uh, heart attacks. Ooh. So good. Uh, two speed, two damage. Mm. And then I will pass. I'm, I'm passing the whole time. Because I'm the jerk who threw stunt powder at I you. Know, that so was brutal. <laughs> Unbelievably I brutal. I was going to say impressive, but yes, it was brutal as well. Also. Let's see how this plays out. So yeah, I, the first thing to go off is actually the heart attacks. Darcy, okay. where's that going? Is that a hitting Tyler? Or is it hitting the panther form? I would, I would never hit that beautiful, delightful panther. All right, so she has decided Great to target to you, Tyler. Tyler. Now I ask you, where is that going? Is that hitting you or the panther form? Uh, that is a total of four damage so over there, right? That's going to be four damage. Uh, this is going to be two damage. Mm -hmm. um, that is going to hit my panther. Okay. Jumping mm -hmm. in front of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now. <laughs> now we have a uh, total of four damage. Darcy, is it the fit panther form or Tyler? Uh, let's see. Total of four damage. Mm. Gosh. Well, I think it's going to be hard to amass enough damage to destroy you in one round next time if I don't get rid of the panther. So, unfortunately, that panther jumped in front of you. I can't be held responsible for what giant spider does. You're, you're right. Does. Four damage, uh, taking out the panther. Okay. Um, no one had a speed of higher than three that round, no. which means both of you lose two hit points. Oh. This is oh, so no, no, no. close. I'm immune oh, to trap effects. That's right, he's immune yeah. to trap effects. Uh, oh, yeah, higher ground. Oh, wow, things are getting rough. Like wow, child. though... <laughs> Darcy does have the initiative token wow. as we head into what is very likely the last round. Another treasure wow. uh, okay. hits the treasure lineup, and we have another event come out. Oh, wait, oh, actually, Tyler, you, discard... you were hit uh, with one damage from that skeleton. You're right. Uh, you can discard at the end of the round before so you I draw have... up to Cool, fall. so I could discard. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, do I reshuffle my discard and start over, or am I just at the end of my deck? Oh, you're at the end of your deck, friend. <laughs> that stinks. It's okay. Uh, but and if it you stays. if you ha like, it's <laughs> lucky that this is not going to last longer than this round because you, you next time you had to draw you would lose. Oh wow! Yeah. So that is this is as close as it's going to get. And Whoa. what comes out is something that uh, I would be very surprised if anybody managed to pull this off. But we have another legendary item in the event lineup. Uh, Sly's Crook of Theft. A player with ten plus speed can claim this item. Uh, if you own the item wow. once per round, you may pull an attack or move from your opponent Dang. and resolve it with your moves and attacks. What? That's cool. Solid. Yeah. 10 speed. 10 speed is quite difficult, uh, difficult to get. Cold as ice. <laughs> okay. Opponent discards a card. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's not a problem. I'm going to discard hell yes since... I can't you cannot use, use it. it. Oh, it happened at the end of your yeah. deck. That's really unfortunate. Aw, yeah. bummer. That's yeah. a sec. Yeah, that's okay, though. It's okay. Right, um, I'm going to play uh, Hellblade. Uh, two speed, two damage. And at this point in the game, speed is vitally important. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is scary. Uh, okay. Yeah, you are. Darcy is... Darcy's in a tough situation. Okay. Um, because as soon, if Tyler gets any attack uh, against you, well, you do have the giant spider. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, because I have the giant toad. Robert oh, is back. No, the Robert. toad is back from the dead. Cool, a skeletal wow. toad. So you can only play one animal at a time? Uh, yes, uh, be, because it is Gary. Um, Gary can yeah. only hold one animal form at a time. Yes, of so course. if Gary was playing with small Benjamin, you could have a panther and one of oh. Gary's forms. Wow, Very that's cool. adorable. Uh, I assume that took an action. Uh, that does take an action, yes. yes. Cool. I'm going to play a suicide strike. Ooh, three speed, one damage. This is brutal. It's good that you got that toad, because that toad does add speed. Oh, this is problematic. Okay, okay, this is fine. Uh, power of love, under cold as ice, giving me plus two speed to that. 
Plus two two speed damage. and two damage. Okay. Not enough to kill him at this particular juncture. Um, uh, I'm going to play... Uh, shoot. Um, I'm going to play... Uh, oh, man. I'm, I think I am doomed. I'll play uh, Hell's Fury on wow. my uh, Hellblade, right? Because speed-wise, mm -hmm. this will get negated and knocked out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. I am playing Brother. Brother! Just does a, uh, you know, one speed, two damage. Mm -hmm. It's just what I got. Um, I'm going to pass. And then I have this card that I don't think I can actually use, but it's Killer Queen, which is lovely. So uh, it does the amount of damage of the number of cards I discard from my hand when this attack is resolved. Yeah, so you don't have any cards left in discard. your hand right now. So. I'm just going to... Lay it anyway for fun. Yeah, because hopefully it's it's, cool. it's a factor. It's on the field. Okay. Um, so now we come to speed, um, and I believe no matter how you slice it, yeah. Darcy's got the speed advantage mm -hmm. on her cold as ice. Mm -hmm. um, with that going first, um, and I, I will point out the cold as ice is not getting the benefit of the giant toad because it is not one of Gary's attacks. Um, oh, I didn't realize that. Both of these attacks are, however, moving at three speed. I think this might actually work out in your favor. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Both of these attacks are moving at three speed because Darcy has lower hit points. Hers resolves first. Whoa. Um, so I take four damage. So you would take three or four damage, yeah. Four damage. And I am dead. That's it. You are so lucky. Wow, that, oh, that was so unbelievably oh, close. If, really if Tyler had oh. any hit points left, I, I, oh, I want to point out uh, with that resolving, uh, her giant toad would have added to brother, um, meaning that she would have gotten a chance, uh, that this would have been going at three speed. Yeah. However, uh, her attack would've would have brought you under her hit points and it would have re resolved you in your favor. That was going to sniper tower you. Oh it was goodness. so unbelievably <laughs> close. That was really cool. For, that was. That uh, was really uh, cool. Darcy, for someone who, who does not feel that uh, you are good at card games, you made some <laughs> really good strategic calls in, in that game. That was I got really lucky good. and uh, I, I think, you know, keeping everyone guessing because yeah, of right. the random choices <laughs> I make in games is really my strength. Man. <laughs> that was awesome. Now, the Gary and the. The amount of extra a HP you got yeah, throughout was huge. that was huge. huge. I'm also really curious. I would love to see this Killer Queen. I, I imagine that like stacks really cool. So it's it's got this variable damage that mm -hmm. lets. So if you had say you had that increase your hand size card yeah. yep. briefly that I took away. No, I still have. Oh, it. you still have it. Yeah. So like you'd be able to discard more. You'd be able to discard yeah. more, and if you are unfortunate enough to get something like Sticky Blob, you can use Killer Queen to feed Sticky. Uh, like you can yeah. feed Skiller, uh, Sticky Blob to Killer Queen. Cool. So there's some fun stuff that you can this do is with really that. Really cool. I really like. It's also different. I know. I really like the Hell Yeah card, and if I'd gotten it. Okay, what does a, it do? It, Hell if yes I'd gotten rules. it a hand earlier, I would have destroyed. Hell yes <laughs> is you immediately draw six cards to construct a single attack, which immediately resolves. <gasps> Though I will point out that's in this wild. game, it might not have worked out in your it favor, Tyler, because have. you ran out of cards. Well, that's by what the I end mean. If I had gotten a second, if I had gotten it a hand earlier, I could have. I think you could have used it, but if you it. didn't win, then I would have been screwed. Then you would have yeah. died. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I guess I kept getting these reactions that let me shuffle stuff back into my deck, and I'm like, oh, I have to shuffle again. But it saved me from I know. having uh, from getting decked. That's really cool. Yeah, um, and like Baylon is so all about outlasting other characters, so she actually mills cards out of mm. decks. Uh, and that is cool. That that could have that could yeah. have gone sideways for cool. for folks. Um, People at home, this game is so much fun to play. I suck at these games. This is a delight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to check out the Dungeon Dome card game, it's on Kickstarter right now. Um, uh, $35 gets you the game. That includes uh, eight characters total um, that you can mix and match. Uh, there are a lot of great combinations yeah, out there. Great playability for 35 bucks yeah. is ridiculous. <laughs> um, and the game is always going to be different because you will have different treasure lineups. You'll yeah. have different event lineups. Uh, so yeah, we, we just touched the surface of really both of these. Yeah. And... Uh, 
the sample deck that we're playing with here actually has fewer uh, cool. treasure cards than wow. will be in the actual final game. That's so cool. And uh, if po people follow through on the stretch goals and social goals uh, cool. that are in the Dungeon Dome card game, there will be even more treasure cards in those decks. Uh, so check that out. Tell a friend you want to wreck at this game. You know, yeah. Yeah. tell them what fun it is and how Lure little old in. you <laughs> couldn't possibly beat them at this game. Yeah, just shark them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I actually have a question for you, though, James, because uh, obviously we're brand new on, at this. Yeah. How fast do you think, like, people who know how to play like a oh, hand? If play? you question. sit down, like, if you yeah. sit down with somebody who also knows how to play the game, the fastest I've seen it play out is, is 10 to 15 minutes. Wow. Oh, man. So, like, I, I bet you could, yeah. if you really knew it. I immediately was like, this would be great for airports. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, for Because, like, my wife and I are always like, man, we have we got here too early. We have yeah. 45 minutes to kill, and we and there's no Cinnabon. What do we do? <laughs> what do I do with my life? Get that sticky blob yeah. in your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, so, so yeah, that uh, works out for you. What was the other thing I was going to say? I can't remember um, all, all the things that I was going to talk about with this game. Um, but yeah, uh, check it out on Kickstarter. Um, you know, uh, please please support us uh, if you uh, like what you saw here. Um, I think it was going to be something about the price of the game and like stuff that comes with it, but I really can't remember. Um, but Darcy, uh, uh, Tyler, thank you guys. Oh, so thank you. you. It was play. a blast. Um, I was, I was nervous. I would like be too slow to pick it up. And so if I can learn to play this, oh my God, anyone here can learn to play. Not only learn, but win. But yeah, like, win. Destroy. Conquer. Mop the floor. Yeah, conquer. You, you <laughs> yeah, mop, me. mop the floor. <laughs> yeah. if for a victory that was, I believe, the difference of hit points was like three. <laughs> Darcy and three. Um, oh, oh, that that was the thing. Uh, we were talking about speed of the game. Uh, so, like, I think a, a typical game uh, can run from thirty to fifteen minutes if people know what they're playing. Mm -hmm. A learning game. Th this is a little bit prolonged because we had some bits in there. But like, you can learn it in about thirty minutes, um, <laughs> it, especially if you're being taught. Uh, mm -hmm. There's also a three-player version that's a stretch goal. Oh. Oh, um, you can play this game with three players, and unlike Magic, uh, this game with three players uh, can go in 30 to 45 minutes. So uh, really uh, quick game, um, easy to pick up and learn. That's kind of why we designed it. With that, uh, thanks thanks to you both. Uh, big sure thanks to Joe for Thank running the ones and twos. You're amazing. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. Thank you uh, so much, chat. Yeah, thanks, this was guys. great, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.